Hi, I'm Debbie, and welcome to Divine Destiny with Debbie. Today we're reading for August 23rd, 24th, 25th, and 26th. That's Monday through Thursday. Now, this is a general reading, and yes, I will be using my Radley Valentine decks. I will use my Archangel Power Tarot cards for the main message. I will pull one from my Angel Tarot cards. I'll also pull one from my Emily Anderson Crystal deck. Now, I have prayed, meditated, and infused all the decks with Reiki energy, but remember, this is a general reading. It may or may not resonate. Take what you like. Leave the rest. I am an intuitive channeler. I open myself to my higher power, and whatever the message it needs to come through, it just comes through. When I speak about higher power, remember that is your higher power, your guardian angel, spirit guide, voice of the universe, the source, the spirit, whatever, whoever that is to you. Okay. Now, any cards that are reversed usually have a little stronger energy. We are in Virgo season, fully in Virgo season. We, are, we still have the aftermath of that full moon, um, but we are now in the waning parts where we want to give up what does not, we do not want to hold on to anymore. Now, my John Holland Psychic Tarot and Oracle cards, they were kind of calling me. So let's see what we have here. Now, as I am shuffling, take a moment to like, share, subscribe, click on the buttons down there. Also click on the bell for notifications because you keep me on air. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Now let's go on and see what we have going on for this week. I have been blogging, so I'm very proud of myself for blogging because it's like, you know, on my website. So please take a look. There are lots of other things that are going on in the, um, you know, in the energies around us. So that's a good place to start. I do reference different articles because I like to have the other opinions and I do respect many of the people that I reference. So but I also put my little spin on things too. So let's see what we have with John Holland, Psychic Tarot, and Oracle cards. First one is, okay, so now this is reversed, stronger energy. We have an eight. Eight has unlimited opportunities. It has unlimited possibilities. So here this is, you know, this is like the star. This is like the making the wish. This has accelerated movement. This is something happening that this week could be one of those jam-packed weeks or those bump, bump, bump type of weeks. A kind of like a, you know, like nothing, nothing, you know, like you can't even take a moment to breathe, to take an air, to take kind of to figure out what's going on with the, yourself or in the universe, or in the world. The good thing about this, though, and again, this is the accelerated motion, fast, fast-moving energies. The good thing about this is that there is something that is greater than us that is in control, and like I said, this is a time for us to put this out to the universe, to put our cares, our worries, and for us to stay positive, because we are countering a lot of darkness right now, but this is a time for hope and this is a time for, you know, reaching out through prayer, meditation, however that is for you, okay? But again, too, you know, what she is doing, you know, she might not necessarily know, you know, she doesn't know what that future brings, but she is, you know, making her wish. She is putting out her hopes. Okay, next card discontentment and boredom, and we have an eight and a four now. So remember to write down the numbers. The numbers, you know, the angels speak through the numbers. The divine speaks through the numbers. And so, you know, what you do is you can take the numbers, write them down, put them in your search engine, and then put angel numbers behind it, hit enter. You'd be amazed at the um, messages that the numbers bring to us. Okay, so now we have an eight and now we have a four. And this is kind of a turning away. This is kind of a not necessarily liking where we're at right now. Now, you know, again, I have talked about all the things. I've talked about Saturn in Aquarius. I've talked about Uranus in Taurus. A lot of things kind of like just churning up. So this is just in the world's energy. There could be, there's a lot of churning up and it's just not, it's like a pair of shoes that's not fitting right. Okay, they're tight, they're uncomfortable, you want to kick them off, but at the same time, you know, you need to have your shoes. Here we go, this is about discontent and boredom. Your next card here, so now we have a nine. 
Nine's energy is really an interesting energy. It's like you've got all the puzzle pieces. You just now have to place them all nicely in place. It's kind of like, you know, the gift is wrapped. Just put a bow on it. Get it in the mail. Things have come to its head. Things have come to its conclusion. It, it doesn't mean that you're ready to leave the situation, but the pieces are falling into place. It's just now, you know, patting them down. This is about spiritual strength. Things are going on that is bigger than us. And we need to remember that we need to connect with our higher power or whoever that is to you in order for us to be the ones to, you know, to fight, to, um, to counter some of this darker energy. We cannot necessarily do this on our own, but with our higher power, we are strong. Spiritual strength, we are stronger. Okay? And joining together, we are strong. And that's why, that's why we are here. That's why we are together with all of this going on. Okay, so this has a lot. There's a lot of stuff, but remember, there is always hope. But remember the numbers, 8, 4, and 9. Very strong numbers there. Um, I'm going to be very interested. So here, this is so that you can have a better look. Again, we may, be, we may feel small, but the universe is basically holding back, holding up what could possibly hurt us, okay? So, accelerated motion, expect things to happen. We may not necessarily like what's happening around us. At the same time, spiritual strength, there is something bigger that is, you know, watching over us, taking care of us, helping us through our times, okay? So, John Holland, your, t your cards really wanted to speak. Okay, so let's go on and start our readings. Hello my Cancers, how are you? I hope you're wonderful and welcome to Virgo season. So a lot of the energies that have happened in Leo are now coming to solidify itself in Virgo. And I hope you watched Cancer in Virgo season, which would have been Cancer August 22nd to September 22nd, I think it was. Take a look, that's the long readings. Remember, too, you are the moon baby, so you will be feeling the residual of that full moon, and then it goes into the waning moon, and that's where you just get rid of everything you don't need anymore. Okay? That's a good positive thing, believe it or not. So let's see what we have for my cancers. We have one, two, and three. Here we are. Glasses on reversed. Okay, first card is the Ten of Michael. Okay, Tens have a transitioning energy. Things are moving forward to for you. Things are not going to stay stuck anymore. There is movement. You are seeing some um, accomplishments happening. Tens is a one. One is a, you know, new beginning. Zero is God, universal energy, source energy. So make sure that as this happens, as things start to transition for you, remember to connect with your higher power because higher power is what's going to speed things along a little more so. Now, Michael is your air energy. It is your Libra, which there will be a lot of Libra energy in um, Virgo season. It's also your Aquarius, which that's going on right now too. And it's also your Gemini. Air energy is your thought processes, making some plans, hearing some news. Now, the, the Ten of Michael with this is, this, okay, this, I love this, and I know I say the same thing about this, this, young ballerina or this ballerina this ballerina has worked so hard to get where she is she has studied she has danced she has prepared herself she has just done everything that has been needed to get to this point her feet probably just don't you know their feet you know i'm always on their feet that they don't necessarily look the prettiest anymore you know but she and you know she probably needs a good foot rub but she has worked her toes off and now she has danced her dance and it is time for her to take a bow and for her to get the acclimate accl accolades that she deserves okay now this is about a situation has ended and you are finally free new opportunities for happiness will now follow Put the past behind you because you don't want to be, you want to learn from the past, but you don't want to be living in the past. Next card is the nine of Ariel. So now we have a ten and a nine. So one, zero, nine. 
Nine of Ariel. Nines, again, I talk about that in the intro, so you know what the nines are all about. Ariel is your Earth energy. It is your Virgo, your Capricorn. It is your Taurus energy. Very solid energy, a lot to do with your home, your money, your job, your career. Now, the nine of Ariel, though, in this deck is like the physical um, is the physical answer to the wish card. You know, the Nine of Cups or Nine of Water, Nine of Raphael is, you know, is the wish card. This is like the, the wish card in the physical realm, okay? This card in itself. You can see the rainbow. The rainbow has come out. The skies are clearing. She is, she is riding her, you know, her unicorn. So, you know, there is a, a lightness in the, in the, in the sense, in her senses. And this is about your dreams are fulfilled. Hard work, again, this is the hard work. You've, had the, you've done the hard work. Leads to great success. A love for the beautiful things in life. And your last card here, reversed, the eight of Gabriel. So now you have ten, nine, and eight. So death, and that's actually ten, nine, eight. And remember, you know, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five. So it's a countdown type of energy here too. Now, eight has unlimited opportunities, unlimited possibilities. Gabriel is your fire energy. It is your Sagittarius, your Aries, your Leo. It's passionate. It's very burning. This has now, now that things are rolling, now that things are moving, now it's time to be, now it's time just to get things done. Things are not stopping. The door, you know, things are opening up for you in much bigger ways than you might have even thought possible. Claim this. We're going to claim this one. A great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communications. So I like that. I like the 10, 9, 8 scenario with this too. It's like it's a countdown, but it hasn't gotten down to the 3, 2, 1 yet. But I do like this energy. I love what these cards are saying. Let's see what this last card is all about. There we go. This one is reversed. It popped out. Here we go. This one is three of fire. Now, threes, I think we talk about that in the introduction too. Threes have the power of three. It has coming together with three. Um, you know, it is the trinity. It's, create, it's creativity. It's also confirmation. And again, fire energy is Gabriel energy. This is about things looking good. This is looking really good for my cancers this week. So, uh, you know, just keep positive. Remember, you need to keep your, your head up. You need to keep your thoughts, your words, everything positive. There will be a lot of changes happening this week, but they look like they're all going to be the changes that you've been wanting them to be. Now, this is about abundance. Things look very good. Have patience at this time, but now it's time to make long-term plans. So embrace this. Claim this type of energy. Anyway, let's go on. And remember the numbers, 10, 1, 0, 9, 8, 3. Okay? Let's see what crystal or energy might be helpful for my cancers this week. Here we go. So, yeah, grab, you know, claim it, grab it. Ah! Cards flying. Okay, let me go down and get it. Let's see what, where did you go? Here we are. Okay, you know, you, gotta, you have a bunch. You have, you have actually four. So what we're going to do is if you have any of these, carry them with you, okay? Carry them with you. Do what, you know. But here we go. Blue Topaz, finding a spiritual ally, higher wisdom, abundance. It's also good for forgiveness. That doesn't mean you have to get all of these, though. Citrine. I love citrine. Citrine is about wealth, enhanced career prospects, self-esteem, manifestation. Water. Water is your energy. Now, you might want to be able to make sure you're drinking your water. Purified, of course. Try to get all those chemicals out of it. It's emotional, intuition, psychic powers. It's also healing. And here we go to Ruby. Ruby is about increased abundance, passion, lucid dreamings, dreaming, light of the soul. If you have any of these, you know, and if you don't, make sure you're drinking water. Okay, but this looks like, you know, just between, I mean, all of these cards are extremely positive and things have to move for you. My Cancers, I love it. I love the Nine of Ariel in this deck. You know, basically, your dreams are fulfilled. Okay, my Cancers, we're going to claim this one. Claiming, claiming for my Cancers. Okay, my Cancers, remember, 
please like, share, subscribe, click on the button for, or click on the bell for notifications. You help keep me on air. I thank you. No matter what the world throws at us this week, my Cancers, always know that you are loved. Stay shining and be blessed. Bye-bye.